When I got my acceptance letter, it was mostly just shock. Like, seeing that envelope and it just like boosted me and I was like, like, oh my gosh, like I did it. And like, I'm, I plan on doing this for my parents and for myself. And I just had like such a high hope for myself. And then my family, everyone was there and then like everyone started videoing because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get accepted or not, but like this is a big moment, so we should video it. And then uh, the letter, I took out the letter and then I started reading it. My parents don't speak English, so then like I was really excited and they were like, okay, so you got accepted. It was a lot of shock and awe and I honestly just, I didn't have words at the time besides just tearing up and it, it meant a lot because I am a first-generation college student. I think for me the most significant challenge as a first-year student, as a first-gen student, um, was just not being able to share that I, my status, right, I was undocumented and so that was kind of a scary thing to, to hold on to for myself but I had really wonderful support systems at Adelphi that let me thrive and let me get involved regardless of what I did. I did it all by myself practically. My parents didn't really know anything much about this since I was the first one to study here so really it was it was a me process. Some people that aren't first gen they have more resources and I'm just like I kind of wish I had those resources or connections because it just kind of makes it harder to go like through everything by myself. I feel like for my peers who have parents who went through this process, they know where to look for things, they know where to look for some resources if they need something, or even like if they have some questions about their decisions, they know where to ask. But for me, I had to figure it out all on my own because my parents never went to college or never like went to school, let alone college. The fact that I didn't have as much support for like my family, because they didn't really go through like the whole, high, I mean the whole college experience. So it's like, you can't really ask them because like they, they didn't go through it. I think the biggest challenge for me as a first-gen student has and will continue to be the fact that I am so far from home and I come from a very small town where you can walk everywhere and so being in a place where there's so many things to do and so many options can be a bit overwhelming at times. I never had tutors or uh, like you know individuals who aided me in like my writing or my ACT um, test and stuff like that and so I feel like that was one of the most challenging things. Not knowing what to do through the recruiting process and, and choosing my college, it taught me I have to just ask. Ask anyone for help and eventually someone will, will have an answer for me. So I just had to figure it out on my own so I think Transy has been a lot of help trying to figure that out especially because um, there's always these resources, there's this guidance counselor and even the professors in here, they really want you to succeed. Like the writing center has helped me out a lot um, and I guess number one thing has been like professors. I think especially the student life, I think they are really good at helping me like to find the right resources. We do have a number of students that they just pop in every day, they, they've kind of learn to adopt us as like just that, that second family while they're on campus um, so they don't feel lost in the shuffle and if they do feel like that um, they can come to our office and they can share what they're feeling and you know we can help guide them either, whether through our personal experiences or just pointing them in the right direction. Um, by going to college I think it will help my siblings and tell them like what colleges can do for you and what education can do for you and how they help you in the future. I think of just my parents. I strive to work as hard as they did so they could move up the ladder. And I hope that I'm able to move up the ladder and have the diligence that both of my parents have and use it towards school and my education and my career. I hope to give my parents like more support than they gave me to um, help them like not work anymore, to have them like just stay home to like enjoy the rest of their years. <laughs> I love the feeling of being the leader, you know, of of whatever is going to come next, you know. I, I love to say that down the line, look back and, and, and say that I, I helped, you know, my son or my daughter or, or my grandchildren really forward um, a way in their future. My dad is always just like, try your best. You know, life is about decisions. You have to make the right ones. Don't do this for us, do this for you. 
a first generation high school student like me, I would want to tell them, like, even if you think you won't make it, still apply. Don't be afraid to try things, you know? Sometimes there's people in life that like tell you you can't do this certain things, but if you just try, you never know where it, it might go. First thing, you need to go out to people and ask them for help. And it's not a bad thing that you don't know how to do these things. You know, it's a good thing that you are trying to do this and you're asking for help. So I think that's the most important thing is go out there and ask for help. It can't be that easy, you know, like everyone tells me that. Don't stop, don't give up, you know, all these things that, you know, people say are cliche and everything. Trust the process. I'm saying this and they might be like, yeah, but I'm going through this struggle. I don't know where to go. I don't have money. I don't know. I went through it all and it's all working out for me. I feel like it's important to talk about first generation to let others know that they're not alone. For first generation students, I think it's really powerful to, oh, I'm gonna cry because I always cry. Um, it's important to share the stories, um, to share um, what you're going through so that you realize you're not alone. Um, I think it's really important to find the people that support you, that um, yeah, help guide you, point you in the right direction. Um, I think it's really important to find your people. Um, and then be vulnerable enough and willing enough to kind of share what it is you're going through. Yeah, imposter syndrome, sometimes you feel like that, but I just want everyone who are in campus or even doing something else, first generation, to know that you're doing great and just keep going. Sometimes it feels like you're gonna have to work extra hard, but once you do it, it's gonna be all worth it and your parents are gonna be so proud of you, I know, and your generation are gonna thank you, so. Keep going. <laughs>